Hi guys, it's me Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about the kite. So this is the last type of quadrilateral na pag-aaralan natin within the series of quadrilaterals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We can define kite as a quadrilateral with no pairs of opposite parallel sides. Remember, we are defining the different types of quadrilateral based on the number of opposite parallel sides. If you can still remember, in our first video, we defined parallelogram as a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite parallel sides. And for the definition of trapezoid, we defined trapezoid as a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite parallel sides. So ito na yung last part natin in which we are defining kite bilang isang quadrilateral na wala siyang kahit anong pares ng opposite parallel sides. So another thing na pwede niyong isipin about the definition of kite, kite is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of adjacent sides that are congruent. Meron daw dalawang pares ng adjacent sides na congruent yung kite. Pag sinabi natin adjacent, sila yung magkatabi or magkasunod. Okay? So we have here kite, let's name this kite first, kite A, B, C, D. And we have here four sides, pero sir, nasan dyan yung two distinct pairs of adjacent sides that are congruent. The first pair is ito. You have here side AB that is congruent to side BC. So meron, na, meron tayong markings dito. So we can create a congruency statement that side AB is congruent to side BC. So clarify lang natin. When we say congruent, ang ibig sabihin niyan, um, that the measurement of those elements are parehas or same sila na measurement. So let's say for example, uh, we will assign uh, BA as a side width 8 centimeters long. Ganon din mismo yung kahaba yung BC natin. Okay? Kasi marami pa rin, ano, marami pa rin ako confused about the meaning of congruence or congruent. Okay? So example natin yun ha. That is 8 centimeters. Siyempre, yung isa din 8 centimeter. So, we have the first pair of adjacent congruent sides. So, the next pair is itong obviously yung ating CD at saka yung ating AD. So, AD is congruent to CD. So, you have AD or side AD is congruent to side CD. Okay. So, yun yung, ano natin, yung basic definition natin for kite. Now, para naman sa different properties of kite, ito yung muna yung first three natin kasi may mga kasunod pa yan. For the first property, sabi dito, diagonals are perpendicular. So, given this kite, A, B, C, D, uh, we can draw a diagonal. We're drawing natin diagonal. I hope na makapag-create ako ng straight diagonal. Yeah, imagine yun na straight yung aking ginawang diagonal. And then, oh, that's good. That's perfect. Okay. Based on the first definition, that diagonals are perpendicular. So since we have that, uh, we have this property, alam natin na pag sinabi natin the diagonals are perpendicular, sa, inter sa lang intersection, nakapag-create sila ng right angles. So we can we can put here this sign, meaning itong four angles natin are all 90 degrees. So, given this property, we can say that diagonal AC is perpendicular to diagonal BD. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng first property natin when it comes to kite. For the second property, sabi dito, one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Again, one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So, nasan po dyan yung pares na congruent? So, dito sa kite natin, given this kite yan given this kite we have angle B -A -D, B -A -D, B -A -T. ito po ah B -A -D is congruent to angle B, C, D. Angle B, C, 
D. Silang dalawa yung congruent. Itong dalawa angles ito. Ito, saka ito. These angles are congruent based on property number one. Kapag kahit yung meron tayo. And number three, one diagonal forming two congruent triangles. Again, one diagonal forming two congruent triangles. Meron daw, congru meron daw diagonal sa kahit na kapag meron tayo, kapag dinomin yung diagonal na yun, it will create or it will give you um, two congruent triangles. So, let's say, let's say for example, I will erase this diagonal. Erase mo na itong diagonal na to. At mag-focus tayo sa longer diagonal. Okay? Focus tayo sa longer diagonal. So, given this diagonal, if we have diagonal BD, again, we have diagonal BD, look at, look at the given kite. Kapag meron tayong diagonal BD, nahahati yung kite natin into two triangles. And based on our property number three, these triangles are congruent. Sir, paano sila naging congruent? Remember, we have the postulate um, side angle, side congruence postulate. As you can see, this side, this is your S, this is your angle, this is your side. And as well as on the other triangle, this is your side that is congruent to the other side. This is your angle, this is your third side. So actually, we can create a congruency statement that these two triangles are congruent. We can say that triangle BAD, BAD, kailangan ano, kailangan tamin congruence postulate, yung ano natin congruence statement natin. Triangle BAD is congruent to triangle BCD. Triangle BCD. Ito ngayon yung first three, ayun na, yung ating state, ito ngayon yung first three properties ng ating kite. Now for the fourth and the last property of kite, we have here, it has one diagonal that bisects a pair of opposite angles. So, again, we have here kite ABC. We're in, sorry, nasan po dyan yung diagonal na nag-bisect ng opposite pairs of angles. So, we can draw two possible diagonals given that kite ABCD. Pero yung given sa property na to, if we're gonna draw this diagonal, diagonal BD, and we know na meron tayong angle dito, we have angle ABC and angle ADC. Ito ngayon yung diagonal na natin that is bisecting one pair of opposite angles. So, if this is a bisector, if BD is a bisector, we can say that angle A, B, D. Again, angle A, B, D. At yung tinutukoy ko ah, is congruent to angle C, B, D. That is congruent to angle C, B, D. So, nasan po sila? Ito yung first, ito yung second. We have angle A, B, D, and angle C, B, D. Yan yung first pair of congruent angles natin na binisect. And since binisect din ni diagonal B, D, si angle D, or angle A, D, C, we can say that this angle is congruent to this angle. So we can create a statement or congruency statement like this. Angle A, D, B is congruent to angle C, D, B. Angle C, D, B. Huwag kayong malilito in naming um, these angles kasi pansinin nyo sa first statement natin, yung nasa center letter natin is yung mismo angle B. Okay? So that is A, B, D and angle C, B, D. And the next pair natin, nasa center si D, para sa center si D, we have A, D, B, and angle C, D, B. So this is for um, property number four. Sir, anong ibig sabihin po niyan? Let's say for example, uh, we measure that this angle is um, nine, uh, sorry, not 90, 100. So we can say that this one is 50 degrees, and this one is also 50 degrees. Ganun lang. Tapos, dito naman, if this is 4, uh, sorry, um, 
60 degrees, again, 60 degrees to angle D, this is 30, this is 30 degrees. Parang ganun ang ibig sabihin ng property number 4 natin. So, let's move on with number 5. For item number 5, or for property number 5, ito naman siya. One diagonal, it has one diagonal that bisects the other diagonal. So dito, di ba kanina meron tayong two diagonals? Sa dalawang diagonals natin dyan, yung isa dyan ay bisector. Yung isa naman ay binabisect. So dito, yung bi bisector natin o yung diagonal na nagbabisect is yung diagonal BD. Meaning, kapag binisect ni diagonal BD si AC, we can have two congruent segments. Ito ay congruent, ito rin ay congruent. So let's say for example, this is E. Okay? Ito na E natin, point E. So, given this property, we can say that segment AE is congruent to segment EC. Kasi nga po, binisect siya ni, ang, ni diagonal BD. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nun? If AE is 5 centimeters, ganun din yung measurement ni EC. 5 centimeters din. Okay? So, you hope na naintindihan niyo yung different properties natin about kite. Kasi in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you problems where in involve yung different properties of kite. Now, given this kite, now let's solve some problems about kite. So, consider kite LM Now let, us solve, now, let us solve some problem involving the different properties of kite. So, we need to consider kite KLMN. So, we have here this kite. And then, as you can see, meron na tayong diagonals. We have diagonal KM and diagonal LN, in which their point of intersection is O. So, in number one, name the pairs of adjacent congruent sides. So, as you can see, given this uh, markings, we can list down here, um, LM is congruent to side MN. So, yun sila yung first pair of congruent adjacent sides natin. And for the next second pair, you have LK, you have LK that is congruent to side KN. So, we are done with item number one. Yung sila yung two pairs of adjacent congruent sides natin with kite KLMN. And for number two, if LM or side LM is six, so ito daw ay six, what is the measurement or the length of side MN? So, given the property or the definition that these two are congruent, so we can say that MN is also six units. Okay? This is also 6 units. Para sila nasukat. So for number 3, if KN or side KN is 10.5. KN, this is 10.5. What is KL? So I think KL natin. As you can see, same markings. Meaning, your KL is also equal to 10.5. This is also 10.5. This is 6. And this is 6. Okay? For number 4, if Angle LKN is equal to 22 degrees. What is angle NKN? So your angle LKN natin, LKN, this is your angle K, LKN. I think 22 degrees, ito yung tukoy. Itong angle na to. And ang tanong dito, what is L NKN? NKN, ito yung hinihingi. Remember, meron tayong property that this diagonal bisects this angle, angle K. So, ibig sabihin, if this is 22, this is also 22 degrees. So, we can say that angle M K M is equal to 22 degrees. Kasi nga, bisector to. Okay? So, for number 5, LN. If LN is equal to 10 centimeters, what is LO? Okay. So, L, yung LN natin, ito siya, yung diagonal na to. Ang tinatanong, what is LO? So, remember na ito ay isang perpendicular bisector ng other diagonal, it can give you two congruent diagonals. Meaning, if LN is 10 centimeters, this will be 
yung ating LO is 5 centimeters. This is LO is 5 centimeters. Ganun din sa number 6. Sabi dito, if LN is equal to 10 centimeters, what is ON? Yung ON natin is ito. This one is also 5 centimeters. So, ON is equal to 5 centimeters. So, ayun lang. Yung application ng different properties ng kahit ng pinalakay natin kanina. And I hope natutupas sa ating video ngayon. And if you have any question or any request of the video that you want me to discuss within your channel, free kang mag-comment para mabasa natin kung ano yung mga, uh, mga topic na gusto mong pag-aralan within this channel. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!